He looked very, very Asian when he first. I think that was just the jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> I think people want like want to look at our baby to see if he came out with tattoos. Or... <laughs> I'm excited that my my son will have more freedom than I think he would in America. I'm Tina. I'm Josh, and this is Baby Arthur. Aww. Babies are cute, <laughs> but when they are babies belonging to good friends, they are even cuter. Big yawn. They're four of my best American friends. Josh and Tina gave birth to Arthur Allen recently. I wanted to do something special to make their new family life that little more comfortable. Amazing. So it'll be no surprise to you that this video is sponsored by channel partner Emma Mattresses, who sent them a whole load of bedroom furniture to help them welcome little Arthur Allen into the world. We were practicing. <laughs> but before we get to that, I wanted to sit down with Josh and Tina and ask them, as two Americans here, about their experience of having a baby in Taiwan. So were you born in Taiwan? No, I was not. I was born in America. Oh great, so you'll be able to compare your birth, all your memories of your birth. Yeah, because <laughs> I remember all of it. Was it always your goal or plan to have a baby in Taiwan? Not specifically in Taiwan. It was a plan and a goal to have a baby. It just happened that we were in Taiwan and got pregnant. How did you feel when you found out Tina was pregnant, Josh? Um, he doesn't remember. I remember very clearly. She came out of the bathroom with, <laughs> <laughs> with a test and she's like, can I tell the story? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've taken many tests and they've all come back negative. So I didn't think that this was going to be any different. So I just went in there, took a test, and it was like immediate two lines. At first I thought I took it wrong because I was like, there's no way. I was like, it's been six years, like why now? I asked him to go grab another test. Again, it was immediately two lines. I was just so in shock. And he's like, is it positive? I'm like, uh, I think so. <laughs> and then so after that, I waited until seven weeks and then I went to go see a doctor. This is my first baby, so I didn't know anything about it. My doctor had told me that I should get induced because my baby was big. And looking back at that now, I wish I didn't. This is a difference in America. Like America, they want you to as naturally as possible to have the baby, unless any medically necessary to have an induction. But out here, like it's, I've heard so many stories about how uh, a lot of women have been induced because the doctors have said that their baby is too big. And so I was in labor for 68 hours. 68? Yes, 68. Oh wow. It was very uncomfortable and then this guy was sleeping on the couch and I was like in bed moaning and groaning When you were awake, when you were present for it, mm -hmm. like how did you feel for that 68 hours? Like what was going uh, on? Pretty useless man, like yeah. I just trying to be there. I would go buy snacks. And... I was like asking him to like rub my hips or rub my back. We met Arthur Allen. Explain a little bit about his name. Where does the name, the naming process come from? Arthur is the name of my grandfather and my uncle. Alan is the name of my stepdad. Yeah, I just think it was a good, strong name. It's different because in Asian culture, they don't name kids after grandparents. And I think it's like bad luck or something. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, <gasps> once they start. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good sneeze, buddy. Uh, What's been the major challenge over the past two months? Probably getting enough sleep. Um. <laughs> so talking of being tired, that brings us to today's video sponsor, Emma Mattresses. And as a gift to Josh and Tina, I arrived the delivery of this full bedroom furniture outfit, bed, underbed storage, mattress, pillows, mattress protector, the full works to help them get as best a night's sleep when they get chance while Arthur Allen is also sleeping. And I know I've mentioned Emma Mattresses many times on the channel before, but don't just take my word for it. Let's see what Tina and Josh have got to say about their new Emma mattress. Amazing. When I do get some sleep, is like the best night's sleep. And I get kind of worried that I get so in like such a deep sleep that I'm not gonna hear the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely sleep deep enough where I don't hear the baby. <laughs> can you confirm that? <laughs> I can absolutely confirm that. <laughs> so can Arthur. 
And the reason Josh and Tina are sleeping so deep is probably due to the three zones back support foam, which supports you in the right places where it matters, unlike basic sprung mattresses. The bottom layer of HRX polyurethane foam, which is supportive and extremely durable, has incisions that allow the mattress to adapt well to your body. But the benefits to new parents don't stop there, as babies have been known to sometimes make a mess. Does Arthur ever sleep with you, or is that so you um, Sometimes that? I do if he's like super fussy during the night. Do you know the benefits of your mattress protector when it comes to having a baby in the bed? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> We've had many spit ups, <laughs> and when I'm changing him, he sometimes likes to pee. So yeah. yeah. It's been <laughs> it's been a lifesaver. Yes, a lifesaver indeed. Whether it's a spilt beer, a peeing baby, or other messes people may make in their bed, the elasticated, easily removable and machine washable waterproof mattress protector gives an extra layer of security as well as the mattress cover itself also being removable and machine washable for extra convenience. And talking of the mattress cover, there is also an added benefit to its design. As the uh, Taiwan's getting super hot, during the summer, this mattress is like perfect because it kind of it keeps you cool. Like it's like I don't know, it's like an airy mattress, I guess. Yeah, and, and like <laughs> I don't have to like flip my pillow over in the middle of the night because it's like hot. Like before <laughs> this mattress, like I'd only sleep a few. Like I was up, up and down all night. Mm -hmm. And this night, this mattress, I'm honestly sleeping for like straight through. So Josh, this was supposed to be a surprise for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Well, can you explain a little bit about what happened? He calls, he's like, I'm here. So I run downstairs thinking it's just like a package and it's like a whole truck full of stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. And he he was a machine. Like yeah. he was, like, he put this whole thing together in like 45 minutes maybe. When he brought all, all the boxes and everything, I was like, where's the mattress? <laughs> you know, cause like there was, there wasn't a box that was like long and wide, you know? And I was like, where, where is it? And then when he's got everything, he's like, Phew. And matches it's like <laughs> <laughs> yes what Josh is trying to say here is that all Emma mattresses come in super easy to move convenient packaging and can be easily installed simply and quickly by one person just as I did for my mum last year and for myself earlier this year but as Josh was so excited to install the Emma products for Tina and Arthur he actually didn't film the installation process but was so surprised with the range of Emma products available we totally didn't expect it to come with all, all the bells and whistles and the underbed storage was just super convenient when you have a, a newborn. You run out of space. You, get, you have to have so much stuff for a baby. You know? So it's, it's great to have underbed storage. So it was supposed to be a Father's Day gift to Josh, but I hope the whole family can enjoy it. We sure do. Um, <laughs> and usually they ask me to demonstrate the motion isolation with a glass of water. Okay. But with my dad, we did it with a glass of beer. Mm. So maybe we can do it with Arthur. Okay. <laughs> we'll show how Arthur stays so still and calm. Yep, as father and son are demonstrating so perfectly here, due to the low rolling resistance, you won't have to worry about being woken up by a partner in the middle of the night if they get out of bed to feed the baby while you are enjoying your perfect night's sleep. And if you want to get your hands on any of these Emma products, they are holding a Father's Day promotion with 55% off the price of anything on their store, plus an extra 10% off when you use my code life in taiwan 10 at checkout links and details in the description so go check it out so i guess i should say happy father's day to josh thank you happy father's, happy father's day the first of uh, many happy father's days mm -hmm. i guess i have to say sorry to you for making josh sleep so deeply <laughs> it's okay i breastfeed so <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get back to the interview so we were talking about different challenges about um tiredness and sleep how about the challenges of being foreign parents in Thailand? I would say the communication towards like the nurses and the doctors. I wish I would have had more of a birth plan. From all the research that I've done, it's always been like things that I've seen in America. When I went into this whole birthing process, I had thought that I was gonna have, go through like a more American style of course we're in Taiwan so we didn't. You can watch a whole bunch of videos and do your research but like when you're actually like in the birthing process like there's just a whole different feeling. So after you gave birth mm -hmm. you went to the postpartum center. Yes. You went to the Chongqing. How was that? It was like a fancy hotel with childcare mm -hmm. <laughs> basically. Okay. And is that something that you would have in America? Or? No. 
That is one thing that I do like about here is the postpartum care. I do think that moms after birth need that rest. In America, like after two days, you have the baby and then you go home. You have to deal with the baby and try to recover at the same time. And it's just, it's hard. I thought it was cool, it was great. Like, it was good for Tina to rest after the that stuff. But it was just like they had some policies that didn't make any sense to me. Like when she had to go to her doctor's appointment, she was quarantined from the baby, but I could come and go and leave the place and still see the baby. So like, it just didn't make any sense. And so, yeah. And so I, uh, I do appreciate the facilities, but at the same time, their policies are kind of weird. Were there any cultural requests? Like I've heard things about can't wash your hair. No, not anymore. Okay. There used to be. And I think in like China, they, there's still like some of those strict laws where you can't wash your hair. How was the mattress in the postpartum center? Was it, was it really uncomfortable because it wasn't in the mattress? Absolutely. It was so uncomfortable. Yeah. So did you find that the, any gifts that were given from Western friends compared to Taiwanese friends were different or were they all similar? Like? I had my mom and my aunt come and they're more like traditional so they give out home bows out here okay have you taken um, Arthur out in public much yet uh, a few times do you get any reactions from the public regarding Arthur we get a lot of stares yeah but we get a lot of stares before we had Arthur I just because <laughs> <laughs> I think people want like I want to look at our baby to see if he came out with tattoos or... Yeah. I think they just want to see if they yeah. look more like a white person or an yeah. Asian person. I think he's got the white complexion and the mm -hmm. Asian eyes. He looked very, very Asian when he first yeah. I think that was out. just the jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> this video has been released in time for celebrating Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Emma Mattresses have a Father's Day promotion, so what are you most excited about for the future of being a father in Thailand? Everything. Yeah. Like, we're gonna have him go to a local school. I wanna raise him as Taiwanese as possible. I'm excited to teach him to ride a bike, throw baseballs. Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I'm extremely grateful to be in Taiwan because it's such a safe country. And it's so welcoming and so friendly. It's just, it's just, it's just a great place. Like, I don't have to worry about my kid walking to and from school. And that's how I grew up. And that was, that was awesome. I'm excited that my, my son will have more freedom than I think he would in America. I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for giving us sharing your story. I appreciate you having us on the channel and yeah. thank you again for the mattress. It's, yeah. it's been a godsend. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Life in Taiwan. Bye. <laughs>